Hello there. So, Tidal Man is back out on the moors. And it's been a long time, I know. But finally, we've got some kit. That'll do the job. And we're out on Round Knoll. And I'm very pleased to uh, introduce to you a chap who I've been trying to get out walking with for a long time, Dean Reed of Peak Roots. Hello. Hi, Dean. So, nice to finally meet you, mate. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> So do you want to just tell the viewers where we're going to go today? The plan is, quite a rough plan, we parked down at Barber Booth, we've walked up to Brown Knoll, we're going to head on to Kinder, Kinder Downfall, maybe across to the summit, and then see what happens from there. It's going to be a good day. So there you have it. So we'll be uh, taking bits of footage as we go along, and uh, I hope you enjoy this walk with us. See you later. proper. We've only got a trickle today, but that does not detract from the awesome beauty of what we're looking at here. Not at all. Look down the valley there towards the reservoir. Earlier I saw somebody trying to climb up. I'm going to try and show you where we are now. See that? Wow. Awesome. Good effort. Some others over there. Look, can you see those guys? I think they're gonna have a little bit more of a tricky time. They picked the difficult line. And Michael's who were on the top. Easy win. <laughs> here now up on the top of Kinder River the downfall is behind us there where all the people are there and if I turn the camera around then you will see this river and it's quite extraordinary really as it's just flowing over the top of stone it's like slabs of stone and the water level is super low already and given that it's only May there's hardly any flow at all I'm not used to seeing the rivers this low. Still some life in it though. I've seen a few um, water nymphs and freshwater shrimp. Some kind of creature looks skimming around in there. I don't know what it is. I don't know if you can even see it. It's so small. But there is life. There is life. And this is what we're having today. Fantastic. Fantastic walk across Kinder Scout. We've been walking for about half an hour now in these gruffs which are just little channels in the peat and they're absolutely everywhere you can go off in all directions and in bad weather people who are underprepared have been known to get well lost but uh, thankfully we've got GPS and maps and a bit of experience about where we're going he gave me a knowing smile then, as if to say, <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> You'll find it. <laughs> That's usually my approach. And as you can see, this is the old kinder. 
Bean was telling me about how a bit more's to the future. Yeah, more's for the future. More's for the future. I've been working really hard to um, to repopulate this surface here. You hear the jet going over? They've been repopulating this with all heather and gorse. So you can get the green view that we get today, whereas apparently before it was just very brown, foul mud, like we saw down in the bottom of the gruffs there. But as you can see, there's not much variation in the landscape. So you can easily end up walking a good kilometre in any direction, you know, with no clearly discernible landmarks. So you've got to know what you're doing. of grass and a bit of peat by the look of it it's the uh, official summit is it the official summit the official summit of kinder scout And now, for the first time, we've got a cool breeze. I don't think we've had a cool breeze in all the time that we've been walking. It's been pretty warm. And for those of you who aren't from the Peak District who know me, follow on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that. You know, if you're ever planning a trip up Kinder Scout, Edale, Oak Valley, these are the areas that you really must make a bit of time to come and uh, come and visit. Give me a shout if you're up as well, I'll happily come with you. Because as you can see it really is a landscape to die for. I'm not sure that's the best metaphor. <laughs> that's not die, but uh, to live for. To live for. Okay, so now we're coming into this area. See all these little weird rocks? These are the wool packs. And uh, yeah, I guess you can tell why. At one time, huge bundles of wool would have been left up for collection. And I guess they do look a bit like. Whoa! <laughs> Keep that bit in. Walk in and filming the pitfalls. <laughs> It's almost like a Neolithic landscape. It looks like Stonehenge or something like that. It looks like they've been dropped here from a different universe. Yeah, fantastic.
on Crowden Tower. Again, look at the views, if I can get up high, I go to the edge. Hi. And uh, if you can look over my shoulder, down into the valley. Camera never really gives it true justice as to what I can see with the eye. I'm going to come down now because there's some other people who want to have a look as well. So we're on the final bit of our little jaunt. And this is uh, Crowd and Clough. And we are going down there where the water goes. Or should be going. But there's not much of it today. If you come here at this time of but November, you've got a very healthy flow. And uh, I just want to take a second actually to say how completely blessed we are, yep. you know. I don't like say that very often, I do hear it overused on the internet, but I think we are blessed to live in a place like this where you can just come out a few miles from home yep. and, you, uh, and you have all this on your doorstep, fantastic. Down we go. So this is quite a good climb, particularly for me. And Dean's been on this route before many times. He seems to have handled that no problem, so I'll give it a whirl. Put the camera off. There you go, we've just come down there. I feel quite happy with that. And after quite a good climb down, I finally found the water. And look at that. That is crystal clear. And there you are, we are down. The stream has split off into two forks. We've just followed that one over there. And we are back down, terra firma. It's quite challenging. Up through the Bluebell Woods now. Down there is Crowd and Brook. We've just come down from the cloth. We're in the shade at last, rather than the exposed sun. And you can see the beautiful bluebell wood it gives way down to the road. Soon we will be back where we started. There you go, look at that. Still a phone in it. Beautiful. You don't see that very often. And here we are, back where we started, at Barber Booth. So I'm just walking down now from Barber Booth. I've just left Dean Reed. Um, we've had a fantastic walk. We started around this area, Barber Booth. And then we've been up onto Kinder, and as you've seen through the video, done a good loop, and then down the clough and back. And um, I just want to say thanks very much to Dean for showing me that route. We've been in touch on social media for a long time, and uh, finally we've got to go out together for a walk today. And uh, he's an incredibly knowledgeable chap 
terribly humble and it's been a real pleasure to go trekking with him.